Welcome to Episode 9 of the Sporty's Advanced Pilot Skill Series. I'm Spencer Suderman, airshow pilot, flight instructor, and Guinness World Record holder for most inverted flat spins. In this episode, we are going to explore spins and how to avoid them. Let's start in a super decathlon at altitude over St. Augustine, Florida. For as much as some pilots are scared of stalls, they're terrified of spins. If they've never been in one, they've heard the horror stories about spins and the death spin and the death spiral and how they're uncontrollable and you can't get out and you'll get locked into spins. It's all nonsense. Spins are a very easy maneuver to get into and get out of. Let's look at a spin through all its four phases. So the power's out, we're going to get it to stall. As the plane stalls, stick comes back, rudder's in, we're entering, notice the nose drops. Nose is oscillating up and down, the spin rotation rate's increasing. Now, nose has stopped oscillating, we've reached maximum rotation rate, we are now in a developed spin. To recover, power's off, ailerons are neutral, opposite rudder, unload the stick, spins over, clean up the airplane, pull to level flight, and we're done. Those are the phases of a spin. Really not that terrifying. What causes a spin? Well, pilots cause spins, of course. How do pilots cause spins? They get the wing stalled and they introduce yaw, typically with rudder, whether they mean to or not. Oftentimes this happens in the base to final phase of landing in a crosswind, the pilot's tired, they get the airplane too slow, they skid the airplane. And it enters a spin, they pull the stick back as the nose drops, they get scared, game over. There are four phases to a spin. There's the entry, which is the initiation of the flight control movements to stall the wing and induce yaw, typically from rudder, to enter the maneuver. Once the spin is entered, it now goes into the incipient phase where it's not developed, the spin has begun, the rate of rotation is increasing, and typically the nose oscillates up and down while the spin is stabilizing. In the incipient phase, you don't have to do a full spin recovery. In most airplanes, and you'll have to know your own specific airplane, you can recover from an incipient phase of a spin by simply using the upset recovery method, which is to unload the plane and let it start flying again. And this is before the spin is developed. Once the spin's developed, you need to use the pair recovery technique, which is power off, the aileron's neutral, opposite rudder, and unload the elevator. Once the spin's over, you then neutralize the rudders and pull back to level flight. So I'm gonna demonstrate a recovery from an incipient phase of a spin. It's not yet developed. I don't even need to use full pair. I'm just simply going to unload the stick and the spin will stop right away. So, get the airplane slowed down, and put it in the climb attitude, get the stall to come to me, and right about when I'm ready to stall, I'm gonna bring the stick back, rudder in. Now, that's the incipient phase. If I simply unload, look at that. Spin's over. I didn't have to use the full pair recovery because it wasn't a developed spin. It was incipient, and simply by unloading, I made the wing fly again, we got right out. Let's look at the power on stall scenario and how to prevent it from becoming a spin. So remember, from the high power setting, you've got a lot of the left yaw tendencies of the propeller in place. So, put the airplane in a climb as if I'm departing, and I'm gonna put full power in. Now, as I continue to pull the stick back, my feet are off the rudder pedals. Notice the left yaw tendency from the propeller. And as I stall, all I have to do is unload, get the airplane flying again. This should be a non-event. Notice I didn't even decrease the power. I simply unloaded, got the wing flying, and recovered the airplane. This should be a non-event. Nobody should get panicked from this. Let's try to understand how ball spin accidents happen in traffic patterns, particularly left-handed traffic patterns. It usually comes from the pilot skidding the airplane, which is using bottom rudder, which is the rudder closer to the ground, while limiting their bank, because they have this idea in their mind that they can't use more than 30 degrees of bank. So rather than use more bank, they put in rudder, and they are already slow. They induce a skid, which turns into a stall spin. So I'm gonna take the power out. I'm gonna get the airplane down to a pattern approach speed of about, about 75 to 80 miles an hour. Now I'm going to put in about 30 degrees of bank. I'm going to start to turn base to final. Now I feel like I'm not going to make the runway, so I skid. I put bottom rudder in. And as I see the nose drop, I start pulling back as that nose is dropping. Before I know it, I'm in a spiral diving towards the ground. Look at that, losing altitude like crazy. I panic, pull the stick back even harder. I just lost a thousand feet without even trying right into the ground. Keep in mind, most base to final turns are done at 500 feet. So once you start loading up the airplane, there's no recovery. 
the correct action will put the airplane in a skid again. So I start my turn. I think I'm not going to make it. I won't increase the bank, so I skid the airplane with bottom rudder. I see the nose drop. I start pulling back. Now I'm descending like crazy. The correct action is look at the horizon, unload, roll wings level, recover to level flight. Minimize the altitude loss, power up and go around. It's the panic of the pilot getting startled and snatching that yoke or stick back that drives the airplane deeper into the spiral or stall if they were actually slow enough and ends up being fatal most of the time. Are you ready to continue your aviation journey and further expand your flight skills? Check out one of Sporty's exciting aviation courses, which include everything from private pilot training, how to fly tailwheel airplanes, and aerobatic training with Patty Wagstaff. Visit sporties.com forward slash discover for more information.